If you are like me, I recycle batteries uh, from laptops. Uh, these batteries are called 18650. A lot of people don't know what that means. Uh, it means 18 millimeters across the width of the battery and the length of the battery is 650 millimeters. So that's why it's 18650, okay? Uh, I have a very expensive unit that uh, discharges uh, these batteries so I can tell uh, if this battery is a, a you know a good battery or a or a, a, a bad battery because usually what happens is these batteries that there are usually six of them they could be as little as three uh, three batteries and six batteries there could be ten there could be a dozen uh, uh, but usually there is uh, between three and six uh, batteries like this one and not all of them die usually just one of the batteries die and sometimes the controller uh, which is uh, and they call it MBR uh, which is the uh, that's what controls the power coming in and out so in when it's charging and out when it uh, laptop is using it uh, and you don't know if this battery can be reused or not uh, and so uh, some chargers uh, won't tell you uh, how much they charge these batteries, uh, you know, and they definitely cannot tell uh, if that battery is uh, good or not good uh, or how much is in the battery's life left. Because usually you, these batteries uh, uh, will last a long time and people just dump them uh, without recycling them, which is not very good. I would definitely recycle them, usually take them to Home Depot and other places where they sell uh, tools with rechargeable batteries. Uh, I'm going to put this battery aside and I'm going to uh, talk about this little unit in here. So this little gizmodo, uh, I call it gizmodo because it's all, it's one of the toys, discharges the battery uh, uh, using this uh, um, resistor right here. And uh, this resistor has to be 10 watts and 8 ohms, okay? And uh, then there are control buttons down here. Uh, and you can, of course, turn it on and off. So uh, if you want to like reset it for whatever reason, you push some buttons and you didn't know what you were doing. Um, uh, if you um, if you push uh, these these buttons in here, uh, uh, like for instance, uh, uh, this button here starts uh, discharging the battery. And as soon as you saw the load went from 4.2 volts down to 3.9 volts, and right now, uh, it's 325 milliamp hours uh, uh, in that battery, uh, okay? And then, um, uh, it, it, later on, as it goes, this will discharge it. Uh, I should have go what, what I did. Uh, I set it up that it will shut off at 2.9 volts. Some of these batteries can be discharged all the way down to two and a half volts, uh, but usually it's around uh, 2.8 to 2.9 and some three volts. Uh, and this is, uh, uh, this calculates basically um, how many amp hours uh, is gonna have uh, in the battery. And so if you let this just run, don't touch then this because this gets very hot, that uh, resistor right here, the ceramic resistor. Uh, just set it aside and then when it's done it shuts down at 2.9 volts in this case because that's what I told it to do and then you're gonna read this number and then this number here will tell you how many milliamp hours is left uh, in this battery usually these batteries are around 2000 and as much as two and a half 2500 milliamp hours per battery okay and so uh, um, it, it's a uh, these batteries for the size are actually very very powerful and you want to make sure that you don't uh, you know shorten the battery uh, because it can explode if you do a direct short uh, uh, without the controller uh, being connected to it